Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von World Peace der King Endlayer. Wir befinden uns immer noch in Hachi und machen jetzt auf dem Weg zu die Verlobungen und ein von der Hachi zu finden. Also hier auf dem Weg ist nur noch mehr Befunde. Und da haben wir auch schon wieder die erste Cutscene. So. Oh, look, there's someone. Wen haben wir? What? That is Onishama. Ah, jetzt ist Onishama, is it truly you? How I missed you so. Ja, ich hier so schnell wie ich immer. Yoko, what are you doing in this place? Ja, sieht auch nicht dein Gesicht aus. I was searching for you, Onishama. Hm. Oh, how far I traveled, braving fierce and. I see. Pray forgive your unworthy brother. Well, there's nothing like a heartwarming family reunion. Our pampered little princess sure sounds different when she's talking to her big brother, huh? Hmm. I do not believe we have met. Are the kind so people who traveled with me. They fed me when I was hungry and kept me company on my journey. Is that so? Then I too am in your debt. I am Danzabro, a disciple of the sword. On behalf of my sister, I offer my deepest gratitude. Don't mention it. I'm sure you... By the way, Dunsaburo, would you know anything about where everyone in town... I fear I do not. I arrived in this city not minutes ago. I see. And with that, Yoko, you have imposed on these kind strangers enough. We should return home to Yunohana. I would love nothing more than to do just that, Onisama. But I fear our only way home is being blocked by this dreadful woman. We were looking for a way to cross Eisenbridge too, but I'm afraid we're up against quite a fearsome foe. Is that so? Then perhaps I can be of some assistance. Might I accompany you to this bridge? But of course. Promises to the good, Satan, and so much fun. The good for the good for just.
fish about headlong like that, and you may just take a tumble. Wow, it's just like I remember. Is it really now? You were only wee high when we left, you know. I feared you might. No way. I could never forget your smell. But it kind of smells like a dog now. <laughs> the old place hasn't had anyone to look after it. The posts and floorboards are all warped. Oh, and look up there. Yeah, me. We can see the stars at night. I just hate that he's here. <laughs> From today, this little place will be our home again. I'm not getting any younger. Even if I take the boat out, I won't be able to. We'll have to tighten our belts on some nights. You would. You sure know how to warm. Oh, such passion. Such fire. Oh, dear. Sehr schön. Und er könnte kaum keiner davor reichen. Stop! I am not a rap girl. Please, in what a world could you mistake such a gentleman as this for such a. A Rutus Profiteur. Merchant of Death, holder of the Merchant Atlas. This charlatan chairman was up to no good in Amshine until, while his ample coffers used to do all the talking, he nabbed by what strange trick of fate. <laughs> Who are you? And what are you doing here, huh? This is our house. Yes, yes. Oh, I know, I know. I've been waiting here so very. <laughs> What's going on here? Stop harassing these poor innocent. Oh, if it isn't Idia, perhaps you need a refresher on what harassment looks like. Briefly alongside Idia when they served to despite her role as a healer. She has a streak of by what strange Indeed! This is negotiation, not harassment. I was in the act of kindly explaining to this old man the ways of the business world. A deal sealed, and you dashed the whole thing to pieces. Ah. Deal? Negotiation? It yeah, looked like uh, plain uh, old uh, swindling uh, from where I sit. Erudus Profiteur, you are a filthy, scheming robber baron. Sadistic white mage, Ali White. Push me again, and you'll find yourself under the heel of my boot, you little rat. withstand such noisome interruptions. I shall retreat for now for dignity's sake. 
But I suggest you consider my offer, old man. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Research, preparation, there is so much to do. I bid you Don't you dare leave me behind! I haven't finished with you yet, rat face! Oh, wait a second, you two! Oh, jeez. Probably could have seen it more than once. What in the world was that all about? Negotiation? He said he had an interest in this place. This crumbling old shack? But why? Shack, eh? <laughs> I suppose that is what it must look like. This is our home. This house has belonged to our family for generations, as has the bounty of this bay. But when my son and his wife lost their lives in the war, I took their daughter and fled for safer shores. When I received word that the war had ended, my granddaughter and I hastened back here. We arrived just days ago, only to find... That strange little man doing peep, peep, peep in the corner. Weird. And what did he have to say? Once he heard that the house belonged to us, he told us to sell it to him and leave. He wants you to abandon your home? What value could it hold for him? If you were to believe him, he claimed that it was for the good of the nation. Then we were interrupted by that miss in white. As the man spoke his piece, she flew into a frightful rage. She seized him by the lapels and shook him about like a limp fish, threatening him with some colorful language. More talk about us leaving this place and more quarreling, my poor granddaughter crying. Honestly, my mind is a whirl from it all. For sure that those two were causing me trouble. It looks like I'll have to find out for myself what they're up to. Wait here, Grim.
It seems this town is faring better than I might have feared. Let us see where to start. Mm -hmm. Just what are you trying to do here? Research, of course. Uh, market research. I must know what it is this country's people want and what they have to sell. Ah, it is you. You came rushing after me? Of course we did. What are you really after? Trying to... Trying to line his own pockets, no doubt. This little rat doesn't think of anything else. I don't trust you to hold my hand. Indeed I do not! Money, money, money! And nothing could fill me with more joy! Uh, hey, wait a minute. Get to the suggestion of things like chocolate milk. Obvious this money grubber thinks there's some profit to be made from that shack. Mm. Well, that I cannot deny. What could you possibly gain from deceiving that family? Be careful with your words, or this world will soon have one less rat in it. That's a small box full of nice as if to be for heavy rat. You do not flatter me. I only sought to include them in a little venture that would earn us all a pretty pig. And what kind of venture would that be exactly? <laughs> I hope you're prepared for this, girl. I intend to buy up all the land around that inlet and turn a neat little profit in the process. You want to buy up the entire inlet? That's quite ambitious. That inlet connects this country to the world, the east to the west, and it will be the biggest port of trade anywhere when I am done with it. So that's why. And now you're researching what products this nation has to offer. Indeed, I am! Not that this is going as quickly as I should hope. Oh? Ran into some trouble, did you? It seems there are more people in this country than I expected who claim to have fond memories of that inlet. You'd have to do a great deal of construction, wouldn't you? To transform it into a real harbor. Filling shallows, regrading the cliffs. I have tried over and over to convince them, but some cling quite stubbornly to their objection. Exhibit A. Oh, aye! That inlet is blessed with the best scenery. Developing a natural wonder like that? <laughs> As long as I still got breath in me, I'll never allow you to turn that place into some grimy, grungy port. Here you go, sir. Thank you, lad. Yes, yes, yes. You can say that again. Reclaiming a beautiful site like that inlet for a smelly old port. It's a travesty! So it seems. Is that what you're here for, Papatar? To let everyone rail at you? <laughs> let them say what they wish. For my next errand, I think I should pick in this site at the Eisen Bridge. Sure you're not headed on a fool's errand? <laughs> we shall see who is a fool in the end. Ta-ta!
So Profiteur is trying to buy up that whole area to develop the inlet into a port. But what about you, Holly? Why are you so set on keeping his hands off that old house? Do you even need to ask? Sometimes I wonder if there is anything at all between those two ears of yours. Surely everyone loves their childhood home, no matter how humble it may be. Did you even look at that girl's face? That naive, honest yearning. I felt like I was looking at myself as a child. Come again? What would you do then? An old man and his granddaughter, scarred from their losses during the war, and about to start a new life together in their old home. And here comes some speculator to force them out. All because he thinks there might be some profit to be made. Sure, I understand all that. I just don't understand it coming from you. No, no, I suppose you wouldn't. So tell us, Don Alvaro, why'd you set out on this journey? Put simply, it is but one step in my lifelong pursuit of the martial arts. You think this is your vocation? I would wander the land and face no. many trials, that, that I might achieve greater mastery of the blade. journey to improve your swordsmanship? I bet you'd get along great with my master. Swords and swordsmanship are everything to me. So it has been for as long as I can recall. Nothing gives me greater happiness than the feeling of my blade rushing through the air. A real bladed maniac, huh? Watch your tongue, Minister. Our Anisham is the greatest swordsman in the realm. Speak ill of him in our presence, and we shall have him chop you to pieces. To pieces! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch where you swing that! Enough of this silliness, Yoko. You are frightening your friends. As you wish, Anisham. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you looking just like that, Minister Wu? Oh, do not tell us that you are jealous. No, no, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking how nice it is the way you two get along. Oh, this is true. Our Anishama is strong, and loyal, and handsome. We hope to hold to see you. Yoko can be a spoiled child at times, but she is my sister, and I care for her deeply. Anishama, you are truly too sweet.
now there's just the matter of how we're gonna get across this bridge. Something tells me the lady with the gun isn't going to be very obliging. ever. This isn't going to be easy. Worry not, Franz. I have a plan. I have a plan to find the master. Let's go. Perhaps you have heard, but this bridge was constructed directly atop an ancient aqueduct. I will go to the master and ask you to explain. One which remains standing even today. Should you cross via the aqueduct, it would place you right behind the woman. If we catch her at close range, she won't be able to get off a shot. Precisely. I shall divert her attention. Make for the aqueduct while she's... Are you sure you can manage all by yourself, Don Saburo? Worry not. Notwithstanding my sister's boastings, I have some skill. I will keep her occupied. Go safely, friends. The only place to find this bridge... Danzaburo, the Lightning Blade, Hito of the Five Swords of Yunohana, challenges you to a duel. Don't try to get a position of Hito from here. Please avoid it. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Just like a bee bringing a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> My blade will speak for itself. Come! Ah, like I needed an invitation. Say your prayers, chump. Become one with the blade, and the impossible becomes possible. Hmm. It's a neat trick, Gog, but I'm just getting warmed up. That was amazing, Don Zabro! All right, this is our chance! Fight bravely, our minister. Inform us when you are ready to enter the aqueduct. Will be cut soon enough to leave this thing. Not a good one. Hmm. The devastation is even worse than I expected. This place is always a site of conflict. During this. Of course! It is this country's major thoroughfare. The Emperor wished to forbid it, but he was right, Lord. Such places are always the first to be targeted in war, desperately fought over until all is laid to waste. I have seen what I came to see. Onward, onward. Uh, already? What about your research? Look at this bridge, girl. The picture is worth a thousand me. words. Uh, hey, wait! Ich habe keine Ahnung, was ich 